want to go over the four main cost curves of the SUNA. These are the four short run cost curves. The first thing we're going to do is average fixed cost. And we'll explain why it looks that way. Average fixed cost is you have a fixed cost, which is constant, being divided by an increase in quantity. So our fixed cost, whatever it is, when we have a low quantity, is going to be high. But it's going to quickly start descending because we're increasing our quantity. And since fixed cost is never changing, it's diminishing with each increase in quantity, the averages, but by a smaller amount. The average fixed cost is going to get very close to zero, but it will never, ever touch zero. We use the, the dumb analogy in class of me putting my finger on a desk where, like, technically, I guess, electrons are getting in the way. Um, if you have a fixed cost of 1000 uh, I think we did this summer, I think $1,000 fixed cost and divided by $250 million, it's still, it's a fraction of a cent, but it's still above zero. So this will never hit zero. Our next cost um, we will do, because it's independent of the fixed cost, is the marginal cost. This is, it looks like the Nike swoosh. It decreases due to specialization. It bottoms out when marginal product is highest. And then due to overcrowding and diminishing marginal returns, it increases. So the blue line is our marginal cost curve. And now you calculate that, it's the change in total cost divided by the change in quantity. The next two curves, I'm going to draw together, one right after the other, is the average total cost curve. And with the average variable cost curve. The difference between the two, what average total cost has that average variable cost doesn't have, is average fixed cost. This is the difference between the two. So when average fixed cost is high, the gap between average total cost and average variable cost is great. When average fixed cost is small, when it's approaching zero, the gap between average total cost and average variable cost is narrowing. Average total cost and average variable cost will never touch because average fixed cost will never hit zero. The other important thing here are the intersections. Marginal cost will equal average total cost, and marginal cost will equal average variable cost at their minimums. We use the GPA analogy in class with econ when the student GPA was increased, sorry, when the students' econ grades were increasing, even if they were below their average grades, their average grades were still coming down. Only after the econ grade went above the student's GPA did the GPA start to rise. The same is true here. Even though marginal cost is increasing, it's still lower than the average. So it's pulling the average down, average variable, and average total until they intersect. It intersects average total cost later, average variable cost will start increasing earlier because average fixed cost is affecting average total cost and not average variable cost. It's the last piece of the 